Hi, Hip Hop Lovers. What's up? This is Lex. And this is Vicky. And you're watching Lex, Lex and Vicky, Vicky Rap, Rap Zone. Zone. <laughs> what up, hip hop lovers? What up? This is Vicky Flows. Lex Pine and Tennis is here. Your mom already knows. Enjoy this hip hop box. This is poetic. To my flow. This day you went to the You just gotta watch it happen. Lex and Vicky Rap Zone. Lex and Vicky. What? Lex and Vicky. What? Today we're having track from Drake. This is poetic. And this Rick is poetic. Ross. You just gotta watch it happen. Shout out to all the Toronto Raptors fans or all the Golden State Warriors haters. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Drake just announced that after Toronto have won their first championship in the franchise history that he's gonna drop two singles. One of them we're gonna review now, it's called Money in the Grave. This one is supposed to be the track that celebrates Figure out it's all right here in the city and you don't run from where we yeah. come from he that sound like to poetic drop the track if they win and they actually won so that's awesome so yeah six in the poetic six justice. that's what's poetic about this whole thing that toronto poetic. raptors that are from toronto from poetic. the six that drake popularized i guess a lot yep. recently they won the series in six games so that's the whole thing and it's cool i didn't think about that yeah that's Let's what that's what he was saying on the interview right after the game. Uh, I really hope you play this, cause oh girl, you test my patience with all these get it, get photographs yeah, and all these one off vacations. You Okay, let's talk. Because I've heard a lot already. I got girls that I'm keeping in the dark. Uh, I Host. think. Sorry. I think he's talking about uh, his girlfriends. Like, I know there is this Abella girl that he has been dating with. She's like 18 years old. Like, she's super young. And he wasn't announcing about her just till recently. I don't think it's about her. And uh, no, I'm just I'm saying. I'm sure it's not about her. About. Uh, she, she's also been dating he's also ha talking uh about his kid and their previous tracks and so he's keeping in a dark the mama so that's also like could be attached yeah to that it's topic. definitely about her it's about yeah. uh, i think it's a subliminal response to what pusha t told him on the disc uh, before that mm -hmm. he's hiding the mom yeah. and the the kid from the world and now he's like yeah, I'm hiding house. Is he still you know, in the diss with Pusha, like in a beef? That's what I thought, that the diss is over, but even with this line, I feel like he's going to do more subliminals mm. at him. And he said about the twins. I think these are the twins that were, like, from Sweden or something. Okay. I, I like, also about. dating him? Like, dating? I don't know. They were in his video, at least. Uh, okay. Um, and okay. And... And he's also been dating this British uh, singer, uh, Raya, and he wasn't announcing about her either. So it's just kind of keeps his uh, relationships private until, until like he could do it. So yeah. Yeah, and this little Cece, this is the new producer. Yes. I guess she's going to be popping since Drake got her in yeah. the track. And this is like the first beat you do is for Drake. Yes, yes. Come on, bro. This is... This is awesome. She's good. actually a model, and uh, she is, like, super Instagram popular. She has, like, 500,000 um, followers, and she has her... She's the CEO of a, of a clothing line, I think, and she's, like, just booming. And she's only 21. Like, this is so cool. Like, good job, Cece. Keep it up. Kristen? What's her name? Kristen? Sydney Kristen something. Yeah. Okay. He is like the most paid rapper in the industry, but his feeling that he's underpaid, definitely. So he's just trying to make it more in the next life and put all his money in a grave. I think he's talking more like 
even when I die, you're not going to get my money because you will try to get my money when I'm dead because that's what happens when you die. A famous yeah. rapper or artist dies, everybody yeah. wants a piece of you. Yeah. And he's saying, I'm still trying to get paid, so that's why I'm taking money in the grave. Yeah. Like he's going to take all of it? Yeah. I don't, not, not just because to get paid, but for you motherfuckers not to rob me and mm -hmm. not to take my money when I'm dead. Yeah. But it... I didn't see any reference to Toronto yet, to Toronto Raptors and to the win, because I thought that this is going to be particularly yeah. about their championship okay. or the win, but it seems like it's not. It just... But wait, maybe there is some in the next... Yeah, I was expecting like some Raptors bars right away. I didn't hear yeah. it yet. Okay, let's right. hear more. I got big... This is a funny line because I know that he's uh, referencing future about the now nah, love I'm good go away. This is a this social media thing about future texting some girl either media or um, model or something uh -huh. to come to his house. Mm -hmm. So she came to his house or something. And there was a screenshot of her texting to future. Okay. Like he wanted to have sex with her or something. She okay. didn't want to, so she got. Uh, out of the house and texting him back and asked like mm, I didn't know all and he was like I'm good love enjoy <laughs> what? I think he's using that line just yeah okay maybe I used to have I used to save hoes with the mask and the cape like he was this guy that mm, you know Trying to give security to a go okay. girl or his women, and now he's like, he's careless mm. after having so many relationships. Probably, I don't know, which is my guess. Okay, let's listen more. Yeah. Bounce. 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 Burn my motherfucking Chase Bank. <laughs> yeah. Bury, I like bury it. my motherfucking Chase Bank. That's funny. That's awesome. Um, yeah, Chase Bank. One of the biggest banks in America. Yeah. Worth of one hundred and ten billion dollars a year, the revenue. So he's got a lot of money. <laughs> bury the whole Chase Bank. <laughs> Shout out, he gave a shout out to Zion uh, from Duke, who just watched the game today. And. Rick Ross said he had a goal of nine figures and he hit it. But I looked, his worth is only 40 million. It's eight figures. 
so I'm not sure what he meant. I don't know. The home is quiet, but we all smoke the loudest. <laughs> That's interesting. There. That's cool. Still being modest. Uh, can you go up, please? Like to Drake's lines? Yeah, like here. That's, uh, he's saying I got a uh, man across the street living large. And I read that he is neighbors with Kanye West. And uh, also is like American actors. They live all in Calabasas, obviously. We all know that. It's not Calabasas. Yeah, it is. What's Calabasas? Calabasas is the city in near Los Angeles. It's like where every star lives. Really? Yeah. And it's some drive, at least that's what I read. Yeah, because Calabasas is the t town. Okay. And um, and I read that Kanye West was signing this petition to kind of uh, prohibit the flying around his house and like about his house like he wanted to just literally shut down that airspace so like no planes could be there so he could protect uh, Kim and his kid he had one at the time it was like four years ago and so he went to Drake and also asked to sign this to kind of protect them and Drake obviously he did it so that's that's awesome I didn't know they were like had anything to do with each other okay so still no mentioning of Toronto Raptors, mm -hmm. nothing about the NBA championship. So I'm kind of frustrated because I wanted to hear some basketball bars. <laughs> I heard the Zion line, but it was so random. Also, he's right there. The, the bus, I think there was you the go. only basketball uh, reference yeah. in this track. Uh. <laughs> um, nothing special in the beat for me. Yeah, it's an alright beat. Just, yeah. Cool, like. Just, okay song just nothing okay, yeah uh, my expectations were like here and this was like okay we haven't heard the next one yeah we but, should listen to the yeah another. but it seems that the beef between drake and pusha will just fire up again because he didn't respond to the previous mm. track he left it open and yeah who who's hell, who else he's beefing with i don't know he was beefing with meek mill at least for sure okay is it over? Well, they shook it up on, s okay. on at some performance last year. Okay, got it. Thank you, hip hop lovers, for watching this. Yep. Yes, give us some love. Subscribe to our channel. Like this if you like this review reaction, and leave us some comments of what do you think about this track. And if you're a Raptors or Warriors fan, who who you got? And thanks for watching it. Hip Hop Lovers at Lex and Vicky Rap Zone. Peace. Peace.